interesting. Uh, hold on a second. I want to put this in the KSP community group. Uh, come on. There we go. And then we'll start. But this is what it looks like. I need to share. Copy link. Facebook. Scroll, 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 scroll. Alright. And come on, paste. Post. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if these work. Oh, no, it don't work. Why don't you work? Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, uh, shit. Um. Whoa. So maybe I'm gonna do this and the first one will pop out. Almost. For Rizzle. Well that's just madly unhelpful. Mm, let's start rotation. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost well, we're hitting 15g uh let's hit the brakes all right let's see if we could uh sync those in let's see if we could surpass the 15 G's. We'll keep that second one extended for now. But that's pretty weird. What, I, what I'm having to do to um, telescope them hydraulic cylinders. Alright. That's pretty sick. 22, 23, 24, 25 meters a second. <laughs> and we're experiencing just under uh, 15 Gs. I almost hit 26 meters a second. All right, let's slow it down. And let's bring that second telescope in. That hydraulic piston. You know, I'm gonna get my mouse. Turn on my mouse. Alright. Sucks. Is he gonna bring it in? Oh, that's weird. Can't talk a robotic part. Part is locked. How is it locked? Uh huh. Okay. Back to the first one. Uh, 
This sucks. Okay, there we go. Awesome. All right, now let's release the brake. So we had it fully extended and hit just at 15 G's at like 22 meters a second, I believe. We had one one telescopic in and got 15 G's and at like 25 meters a second. Now we're at 33, 34, 35 meters a second. Oh, uh, come on, 36, 36. <laughs> Uh, wonder if I can get a view. Uh, these guys. So we're at 36 and a half meters a second, well over 15 G's. That's crazy. Um, let's do something stupid. Oh, I don't need the landing gear for it. Oh, that's crazy, but it helps. Oh, man. Still over 15 Gs. Let's see if we release. So, we're still at 36 meters a second. Oh, 37? Oh, shit. 38? Can we see 39 meters a second? Uh, 39 yep all right oh <laughs> uh, let's see 40 it's slowly climbing uh, 39 7 39 8 39 9 can we see 40 meters a second can we yep 40 meters a second and we'll well past 15 G's that is crazy <laughs> Oh, that's funny shit. All right, all right. So, oh man, that was great. Forty meters a second, and that's the heavy rotor. Uh, I'm sure if I take off that big old fuel tank, um, we'll probably see greater speeds. But with the weight of inertia, is probably the reason why we're seeing forty meters a second. So. I doubt we'll see 40 meters a second. We'll probably see like 30, 32 meters a second if we take that fuel tank off because we don't have the weight of inertia helping us perpetuate the momentum of the rotation. But uh, that's great. <laughs> uh, all right. Hold on. Oh, go back. Can we EV? Can we EVA these guys? Let's see if we can. I'm gonna try to EVA one and see what kind of distance we get with him. <laughs> um, leave seat, yes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get back up to 40 meters a second <laughs> and slingshot him out of the seat. <laughs> All right, so 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Come on, let's get back to 40 meters a second. This is going to be awesome. Ah, oh, hold on, Joseph. Damn it. Let's see. Uh, if I deploy the arm... Um, the rotational speed actually slows down, so my surface speed slows down, and the g-force won't be um, as exhilarating um, because you know you're way out there. I mean, you get more, yeah, you get more g-force upon the inertia, but I mean, it doesn't pick up the speed for the g-force uh, influence. Uh, earlier in the video, I extended them both. Um, when I extended both hydraulic rams, um, 
I think we were only able to get like 25 meters a second and we were experiencing just under 15 G's. So it's like the closer you get in, the faster you rotate. It's like a bicycle wheel. The tire actually goes slower than the inside of the tire because of the surface area. As compared to the inside of the tire, you know, is less surface area, so it spins faster. But the spokes are all connected and, you know, it's just the surface area uh, displacement. So let's... Let's see what he's feeling. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, damn it. I shouldn't have did that. Oh. You know what? Oh, and it's not going to let me pick them. Damn it. I gotta stop it. Uh you see what the uh Yeah, that was not fun. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna eventually sling a Kerbal out of his seat. Even if I had to make him. What I should did, I should have pinned it. That's what I should did. Alright. So we we're at thirty six meters a second at last run. I want to get back up to 40 meters a second and slingshoot the Kerbal out of the sea. <laughs> That's going to be great. <laughs> no, Matthew, it's not going to space. Well, I'm sure if I made it vertical instead of horizontal and I timed it right, I could slingshot that motherfucker pretty high in the air like a trebuchet. Okay. We go into that uh the bass restaurant like we did a couple weeks ago. That was a pretty nice restaurant. Yeah, we can. I wasn't or we can just go to Burger King tonight. Chinese. Ding 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 ding. Today's Monday, Sunday. They're not open. That's gay. Monday's Chinese Sunday. So 36 meters a second. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I got to bring up that wheel, huh? All right. 35, 36, 37. How about we get Christos here in town, which is always good? Okay, well, we can go to Christos. I got 39. Come on, 40. Come on, 40, 39.5, You call me a madman now. I'll put like a Falcon 9 engine on the ass in the bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, woof. <laughs> Look at him tumbling in. The... Oh, that's great. Um, let's go see what what was the damage. Oh, come on. See, this this doesn't look all that big when you're in an airplane, but when you're on foot, damn that hill. It's sponsored by Michael Bay. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, oh man, um, there's like really nothing left. There's some debris over here. Oh, that's great. Look at it moving. It's rolling or something. Come on. Uh, 
Damn it. So he's walking and the RCS is going off. Oh, no. So that's not going to work. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, that was fun. And funny at the same time. I wonder what was that a part of? I don't recall... Oh, that was the wheel, the the landing gear. That's funny. That is totally funny. So that survived. <laughs> uh, nothing else looks to be survived. Let's see what this piece is over here. Damn, 150 meters away. The other piece is like 200, almost 300 meters away. Well, no, 253. There's two pieces over there to the right in the grass. Oh, that was great. I wonder what that is. This thing is right there. It's like a tower of some sort. See, I'd walk over there, but it'd take me like an hour to walk over there. I gotta build me a truck or something and go see what that is. It's probably some monument or something. Huh, Matthew? Yeah? <laughs> Oh, that was great. Um, let me check this out, and I'm in this video, and then that's one of them. Oh, okay. Uh, so I didn't even know that. So I'm all about space exploration. Oh, is it Easter egg? Nice. Okay, that's like uh like the statue in the desert and the pyramids too, huh? And then Armstrong's monument on the moon. <clears throat> this looks to be in a hydraulic ram. I think. That looks like the steel girder strut for the center core. Yeah, it's a hydraulic ram. Damn, that's funny. King of the world. So I don't know where that one other piece so is. Oh, it's over right there. By the. Come on, you dummy. So, through this, <laughs> I just realized, through this, um, it's G-force test and slingshot of the sea from the centrifuge, we lost a Kerbal. <laughs> it was a two seater. <laughs> we lost the Kerbal. Oh, that's great. Uh, death for science, huh? That's awesome. <sighs> okay. You got a hangry ha headache? Yeah, baby. I guess so. Yeah. Hanger ache? <laughs> uh, iceberg. Huh. Tamara, I didn't see one. Oh, that's the other steel girder, I think it is. For the, um, the Kerbals. Or the fuel tank, was it? No, because it was hydraulic rams for the Kerbal seating. So this was for the counterweight, the inertia weight. That's funny. Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh, and there's nothing else that survived. I guess not. All right, well, I guess that's going to conclude this video. <laughs> that was great. Uh, so, back to the KSP community console group.
and uh thanks and for watching and laughs and please like and subscribe <laughs>